Sam McCulloch here with Yule Moldauer, the only <laughs> Olympian that is competing at this Winter Cup Championships. How does that feel? Uh, you know, it's it's nice to know that, but uh, you know that was last year, and now the new focus is this year. So honestly, it's just good to be back, see all these you know young faces and the up and coming. So I'm excited for this meet. It's a beautiful stadium, so it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it too. So you have it's not the same code at all. No, not at all. Things have changed. Skills are gonna be different. Oh, yeah. Are there some changes you've made from last year to this year that you're looking forward to showcasing? Yeah, um, I mean I've added a few releases on high bar. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, I've been wanting you to do this for years. What do you got for us? So um, I'm just doing the Coleman and a Takacha Pike and Shal Takacha. I'm going to save the casino for some other time. But Oh, so there is a casino in the works. There is a casino in the works. But I'm excited for P-Bars. Uh, I've been working pretty hard on that event, and starting out at 6-7 now. So it's, it's a, definitely a marathon for routine. But, you know, floor is a different game now, so... You know, it's still about landings, but, you know, you'll see a lot of, you know, two and a half double fronts and, you know, layout to twisting. So, but for now, it's just, you know, kind of that after year Olympic, maintain the body and still be in the gymnastics swing of things. Yeah, no, huge, huge changes that are happening. But on floor, are you doing anything different? Because you're, I mean, a world finalist on floor. How are you uh, planning with this new change of code of points in getting yourself up to that high level of difficulty that I know you were doing in the last uh, last quad. Yeah, I mean, uh, for this meet, you know, things are a little different. Um, you know, I'm not going to be throwing any big connections. I'm mostly going to be doing, like, the twisting to layouts mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I'll still be starting at a 5.9. Okay. So I did add a 3.5 punch half, and then I'm just going to, you know, keep the rest of my routine. But, um, you know, because it was so quick after the Olympics, I had Worlds and then Switzerland. And then I had to get ready for this season. You know, I didn't really have that much time. So it's been more of I've been playing around in the gym and, you know, I'm going to practice these other connections. But for this meet, it's really important to, you know, make team again and, and stay in the position to, you know, go to Worlds and stuff like that. Yeah, got to make those international assignments too. Is there anything that you're looking to get or hoping you'll snag uh, after this competition? Um, not after this one. You know, the bigger ones are mostly after championships. You know, there's a FIG meet in France which I heard it's actually in the Paris Olympic Stadium, so I really want to go experience that. Um, you know, there's, you know, Pacific Rims, there's World Championships, so, you know, all those are later in the season, but this one's a really good meet to, you know, start getting your name in the mix of, you know, who should be on team and, you know, who looks ready. How many competitions have you done this season so far? Let's see, I've done H&I, WOGA, and a home meet at 5280, and now this one. So this one's my fourth meet. That's actually a lot for someone that's not in the NCAA anymore. So I got mad props to you for getting out there. You're not an old man. You're still a young buck out here. I love it. It's trying to be young, trying to be young. That's good. Well, hey, thanks for taking the time. Always a pleasure seeing you. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, best of luck. Hey, thank you, bro.